Hello guys, welcome to an Arduino tutorial on how to make a temperature sensor. Uh, this is part of the Ultimate Arduino Beginners Guide series and this is lesson 6. If you missed any of the earlier lessons, um, go and watch them now, otherwise you probably won't understand a lot of what we do today. Okay. Um, right. What will we be doing? Well, we are making a temperature sensor which prints a temperature to the serial monitor. That's pretty basic, that's all we're doing today. So what you will need, well you will need an Arduino or clone, a solderless breadboard, jumper wires and temperature sensor LM35. This is temperature sensor LM35. Um, we haven't used that component yet and it's probably one of the only times we will in this series but um, yeah, so you need to wire up your components. So wire the left pin to 5 volts and you can see that. Why the middle pin to A0, which you can see that. Why the right pin to ground, which you can see that. So we've got the left and right pins wired to power. Then we've got the middle pin to analog in. Analog in can convert analog readings to digital readings that your program and you can understand. So A0 is going to read the temperature. Right, now let's have a look at the code. I'm going very quickly through today. Um because it's not it's not that hard. It's quite a simple, quite a small amount of code. This is actually all the code that we need today. I'm just going to explain it. So let me just get a ballpoint pen. Right. We've looked at integer variables in the past. Integer variables are numbers. Okay, now int val. That we haven't um, declared, we've only declared it exists, we haven't set it as anything. So, val stands for value. Then, so we've just declared an integer variable. Now, we've got int temp pin equals naught. So, that stands for temperature pin and it equals naught. So, we've just declared another variable on our Arduino. Then, next, we've got void setup. Uh, which uh, only happens once and we're just initialising the serial monitor so to do that serial.begin 9600 so the serial monitor can communicate with your Arduino from your computer and your uh, computer from your Arduino and it's just a communication thing where your Arduino will print the temperature to so we've just initialised the thing and 9600 is just a standard rate at communication speed now let's have a look at the void loop. Now this is some quite complicated maths here. This is one of the only maths that you'll need for uh, Arduino. So void loop, this runs uh, forever. Val equals analog read temp pin. Now analog read, now temp pin is naught. We look here, A naught is what it's connected to, the middle pin. So the temperature reading is going to go up there to A naught. Okay. Uh, a naught, um, so it's reading a naught basically. Val equals what the temperature is. Now, this is when it starts to get very complicated. This block of code here. Now, float. Float is one of the only pieces of maths in Arduino. Float can do conversions basically, it converts, can kind of converts code that. Um, the Arduino understands to code that we to you know code that we stuff that we understand. So the reading that the temperature that the temperature sensor will give is going to be completely different to any Fahrenheit or Celsius that we know. Okay, so let's have a look. These are just the calculations you need. So float to MV. That's just a calculation. Okay, you need you don't question why it's there. It's just you need it. Okay, and now to get the different things we need float cell MV over 10. That's to get the calculation in Celsius. And then to get it in Fahrenheit, cell star 9 divided by 5 times 32. That's how to get it in Fahrenheit. They are just the calculations, no more to explain there, they're just what you need to calculate, how to change the, the, how to change the reading that the um, temperature sensor is giving to the reading that we can understand.
in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Then we've got another bit of code down here at the bottom. Serial.print and serial.print line. Right, serial.print line and serial.print are different things. I'm just going to draw a little sketch of your serial monitor. So here we've got a box like this, which is your serial monitor. Now, let's say that this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. Okay, the first, now when it's on print, it prints them next to each other on the Arduino. If it's on print line, it gives it its own separate line. So, that, so this one's a print line, this one's a print line, this one's a print line. So when it's on print, like these two, it puts them next to each other. When it's print line, it does them all on their own individual nice little lines. That's the difference. So, serial.print uh, and then temperature equals. Now, this will just print the word temperature equals. Nothing exciting about that, that's all it does. Print the word temperature equals. And then, serial.print cell. We've got cell here, this will give us a number, the amount of degrees. And then, after that, it prints C, degrees C. So that will print on the serial monitor. I'll just draw another little sketch. This is a serial monitor. Here, it'll say temperature. Here, it'll say temperature equals, let's say 5 degrees C. And then, 5 degrees, so it'll say 5. And then here, it'll say degrees C. And then, you will notice this bit, serial dot print line, and then it's got nothing. So then it just separates a line. It, and then it'll do it again. Delay 1000, that's 1000 milliseconds, that's equal to a second. So it'll just delay one second in between giving the readings, and then it'll give us another reading of the temperature. And it'll keep going, and it'll skip a line in between. Now, take note of this. We have not displayed Fahrenheit yet, and that will be your challenge for today. Right, challenge yourself. In the previous block of code, I have set up some code which means you can display Fahrenheit as well as Celsius. If you can do this, you have a very good understanding of what we have done so far. If you don't, pay attention to the next part of the video. So, in this code here, I've displayed Fahrenheit, even though I haven't put it here. It's your job to now have it displaying Fahrenheit as well as displaying that. So it displays both at the same time. Uh, I'm going to give you, so copy that into your Arduino IDE and then figure out how to do it. I'm going to give you five seconds to pause it and figure it out and write your own code. Do you, do you know where your pencil case is? Which one? This one. But, um, yeah, can I borrow it? Yeah. Thanks. But you can't just stop bumming upstairs just for pencil cases. Okay, and and here we are. So the challenge. This is the answer to the challenge. Serial.print temperature equals serial.print far. Serial.print degrees F. Serial.print line. So this will put after the already written. So let's just go back to the code here. This is exactly the same to this. It'll just print underneath what it is in Fahrenheit. Well done if you managed to do that. And that's the finished code. Now, you may have noticed. Um, Right, one second. Right. Look at this. That and that. Okay. I've put it in a comment because you might not want it. So, we, so this is in a comment. It won't do it at the moment. But if you want it to actually display it, just take it out of the comments and delete them too. And then it'll display that as well. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you understood everything today. If you didn't, remember you can just put a comment or email www.unofficialarduinotutorials um, at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Um, I've forgotten what we're doing next time as well, which is bad. Oh well, okay. See you and thanks for watching today's tutorial.